Around three months ago, we had a look at the first series of the Dollar Tree's Final Faction action figure toy line. You may recall I was quite impressed with the quality versus the very low price point. Uh, excellent bang for your buck if you're a toy collector on a budget. Now at the time of that upload, I was aware that a Series 2 was in the works, but at that point we had no idea when it was going to launch. Um, started seeing reports in October and November, sporadically, Dollar Trees across the country were beginning to get uh, Wave 2 figures and uh, accessories. Uh, locally, no luck whatsoever until now. Um, most of my local Dollar Trees have not restocked since before Christmas. But uh, I just happened to uh, put my hand down in the bottom of a, of a, of a box in a, a local Dollar Tree's toy department. It's complete disarray, that box. So I just thought, well, I'll have a nose rent down in there. And sure enough, uh, at the very bottom, I found the uh, Arrow ATV and the Arrow Weapons and Armor Upgrade Kit. And a uh, dollar each. So for $2, uh, we have this. A vehicle for the Final Faction figures. And first impressions, wow, this is really something else. Uh, this weighs, once you get all the, the stuff on it, this weighs a little. Um, and everything you see here, all these components attached to the frame, helps reinforce that frame to keep this thing together. Um, it does come unassembled, both the uh, the vehicle itself and you can get a look at the vehicle without the uh, weapons and armor on it there and uh you have to put that together and this does say for ages three and up folks no three-year-old is going to be able to put this thing together um uh, I'm, I'm looking back i'm not sure i would have had the patience to deal with something like this as a 12 year old but once you get it together it's really cool it's not hard to put together with one exception and i'll talk about that in a moment but you know it's not instant gratification, as most uh, kids crave when it comes to toys. You know, get it out of the package and play with it. Uh, this thing you've got to build. You've got to put it together. Um, you can see the engine in there. There's some detail on this thing, more than you might guess for $2. Uh, I think the uh, uh, the armor upgrades are, are really cool on this thing. There's the little arrow design, hence the name, the arrow ATV. There's a winch molded into the plastic there on the front and as you can see the thing does roll i mean it's it, if, if you let this go which i'm not going to this thing will move along i mean it's it's just you know plastic wheels on little plastic uh there's no axle in between them it's just a little you know a little plastic uh, hole for the plastic peg but it works and uh you've got some little uh movable uh turnable weapons here it's kind of tied up there i'm gonna have to work those in this little uh, anti-aircraft array does work. I like the targeting system there on that thing. Uh, that does rotate in there. You can uh, put one or two figures on the back of this thing. You know, there's a the little pegs for their feet right there. I probably just put one back there to operate the uh, uh, anti-aircraft turret. But, uh, there you go. I mean, this is, for two bucks, folks, again, pretty good bang for your buck. Most vehicles, even in, in budget discount toy lines, are going to start at anywhere from 5 to 10 bucks. So for $2, that's not a bad deal at all. You have these little headlights here on the sides that you, that little, uh, I don't know if that's red plastic or if it's a, a, just a screen over over the top. Didn't really take a good look at that. Um, but again, for $1, you get the basic vehicle. This is just the, uh, it's pretty much a dune buggy frame over top the chassis and um, for an additional dollar you get all the uh, little pieces of armor and weapons to put on the thing and overall I'd have to say this one is probably worth it you know I question the value of some of the weapons packs for some of the figures a little but you know this is a, a definite upgrade to this uh, particular vehicle and it helps it stay together a little better in my opinion is it durable well I wouldn't want to slam this up against the wall this bumper piece here with the winch on it is only connected with on two two little parts of the frame right there so that could come off um everything else seems to be locked in place okay it is just plastic folks keep that in mind there's no die cast metal here no screws uh 
this is all held together by tension. So um, now the the real the only issue I've had with this uh, assembly was the steering column. I don't know if you can see it sort of uh, elbows down in there. Um, the part doesn't fit the slot. It's it's I don't think anyone bothered to check to see if it did at the factory. And so it just keeps kept falling out. Uh, there's no way to keep it in there. So I was compelled to actually super glue it in there. Uh, it, it wouldn't rotate anyway based on the way it was built. It just, uh, the, the steering column appears to have never been test fitted into the uh, hole uh, upon which it goes into. So I had to glue it in there. I tried poster putty, but that wasn't very successful. So I had to take a more permanent solution. And it'll be fine. I mean, this was never intended to move anyway. Hopefully I can get the the pilot, once I find the pilot, in and out of the driver, get them in and out of there with, with, without, you know, knocking this loose. Again, it's it's just super glued in there right now. And even even now it feels pretty loose in there. So I have to be careful with that. Um, yeah, so other than this vehicle, there are, so far in Series 2, there are three figures. There's a, a, a pilot. I don't know their names, folks. A, a, a driver for this in a red outfit. Um a character in sort of a stealthy thief type in a sort of blue or purple outfit with a hood and two different faces. It's kind of cool. You, you rotate the head around and it's a completely different face. Uh, kind of like Manny faces from the He-Man line way back in the day. And there's a, a robot dog. It's a, a robot mecha dog with a, that comes with a, a tiny chihuahua figurine that pilots uh, the robot dog. Folks, this is a, a kid's toy line. Just stick with me. I mean, just go with it. Okay? That's fun. That sounds real fun to me, but um, uh, so far those are the only three action figures added to the line, and this uh, this vehicle with its uh, weapons and armor upgrade. I've not seen any of the action figures locally, and I, it could be a long time before I do because uh, all my local stores are just inundated with Series 1 figures, possibly by the tens or hundreds of thousands, so who knows when the new ones will show up locally for me. Uh, you can get them on eBay for scalpers prices. I would not recommend you do that. Uh, of course, you have to buy these. From, you can buy these from Dollar Tree, but you have to buy them by the caseload. So, you know, 45 figures or something like that at a time. That's that's no good. Why won't they sell these individually? And I know everyone's going to school me on why that won't work. But you know what? Walmart sells individual items all the time for a dollar. And it sometimes even offers free shipping on it. So I don't need to hear about why the Dollar Tree can't sell these figures individually because I know it's a bunch of horse shit. So just save your energy there, okay? Now, there is actually one additional item in the Final Faction line. It's uh, not available at the Dollar Tree, though. It's available at Family Dollar, a Family Dollar exclusive. <laughs> and you, you'll have to excuse me if I, I giggle at saying that out loud, but that's exactly what it is. It's... Uh, it's the Arrow ATV with the armor and the weapons already uh, attached, pre-built in the package. Uh, it comes with the pilot, or the driver, I keep calling him the pilot, and some additional paint, a lot of red paint on the armor. Uh, so, and that retails for $5 rather than $2, but it comes with the driver, so there's th a $3 value. Now you have to ask yourself, is it worth two additional dollars to have better paint applications on the... Uh, on the armor, and to become pre-assembled? Well, that's up to you to decide, but that, again, that's a, a family dollar exclusive. Now, my family dollar also hasn't stocked their stores since before Christmas, so, uh, and I, I'm sort of tired of checking in there because uh, they can't be bothered to have a look in the stock room to see if they have, have these waiting to put on the shelves or anything, and who can blame them, folks? Um, most of these Dollar Trees and Family Dollars are, are staffed by one uh, underpaid, overworked individual who simply cannot be asked to check to see if there's a, a dollar toy uh, sitting in the stock room waiting to be put on the shelves. I don't blame them for that. The thing is, we live in an age now where we're supposed to be able to buy anything we want online. And you can't really do that with Final Faction figures unless you buy cases of them. You know, I don't want... Uh, I don't want 30 of these vehicles. I only wanted one, which is why it took four months to secure one. Um, and yeah, it sucks that a lot of people that find these in stores buy them up by the caseloads and then scalp them for uh, up to a 1,000% a profit on eBay. And I'm not exaggerating. Sometimes even more than that. Um, let me put it to you this way. 
The Valiverse Action Force figures were easier to obtain than this uh, $2 toy you see right here in front of you. And that's, that's a problem. Now, some of you may ask, well, don't you think this is worth 20 bucks if you have to pay, for, pay, for, pay that much for it from scalpers on eBay? Answer is no, this is not worth $20. It's worth $2. And it's a pretty solid, pretty groovy toy, but it's not worth 20 bucks. It's certainly not worth 40 bucks. So, you know, I'm happy I found it. And uh, I'm just going to keep looking for the uh, three figures that are available. Folks, there's another wave in production, even as uh, I, I film this. I don't know when those will be out. No one knows when those will be out. Um, but you can't sell them if they're not on the shelves. And you can't sell them if they're not available to purchase online in reasonable quantities. Now, there's probably folks watching this video at some point that will say, there's plenty of these in, in, in my store. Ergo, they must be available anywhere. What are you complaining about? No, no. You're very lucky that they're available in your local store. They're not available throughout most of the country at this time. Over four months into their production run. And that is a problem. But in this case, I think patience is probably going to be the key. Eventually, uh, stores will sell out of all the Series 1 figures, and they'll put the Series 2 stuff that they probably had in storage for up to a year by then uh, on the shelves. And, you know, collectors will just have to be patient or pay scalpers' prices. Uh, your choice. I've made my choice. I mean, for me, the entire uh, charm of this action figure line for collecting is that it's so cheap to collect. Uh, now, you're looking at a total of $16 uh, for everything you see here, rather than, you know, Series 1 was 14 This These two items, two additional dollars, are 16 bucks. That's very affordable and manageable. Uh, but if I start paying scalpers prices on eBay for this stuff, that totally negates the entire purpose of what I'm uh, trying to achieve here. So in short, we'll have a look at the three Series 2 Final Faction figures, if I ever get them. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and again, this is a, a fine little toy. This is, this is great. I don't think uh, very young kids are going to be able to put one of these together on their own. Uh, and, you know, these it's... I'm not going to say it's easy to put this together. It's not overly difficult, but it takes a few minutes, and that steering column is a problem. Uh, but everything else on it, I mean, it's very sturdy, and it weighs quite a bit once you get all the uh, additional uh, weapons and armor on it from the uh, separate uh, pack there. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you again real soon. Take care.